Good afternoon. Good, Hello. good evening. Good dog. Let's see. Good dog. Good good dog. Good dog. Hello. Sweet puppy. Oh, Hello. Hey, can you hear us over there? Baby yep. Sweet puppy. I can hear you. Can you hear yeah. us? Yeah. Hello. 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 We're doing good stuff here. This is gold, by the way. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, let's do it again. Hello. 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 I think my mic just went down a bit. All right, I got you guys now. Sorry about okay. that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, we're All live right. in the stew. That's it for you. <clears throat> we got a, bu a few artists in here. We're going to be doing Check. a Check. live performance interview with... The acts that are playing at the ANAF tonight. And this is the first show of this tour, right? Yeah, this is the first show some of us have ever played together. And the 100th, some of us, other of us have played together. Yeah. Ah, exciting. Yeah. Lizard and I have formed a duo called Danger Grove. I'm rap legend Jesse Dangerously, and this is Lizard Grove. And this is our first time meeting. Uh, we but made this whole album. And then... This is your first time meeting here today? Literally <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. this morning. I, I drove up from Colorado starting like two days ago. She, okay. She like picked me up and we just went and got our vinyl straight off 45 minutes from here. But also picking up his vinyl today was Thesis Sahib from the group Awards. And we've been playing shows together since 2002 or longer. Oh, way but we've been that. touring. We've been on the road year, together. At least before that. Don't yeah. be mad. Uh, yeah, we've been touring together as, with, as the early Backburner crew. Uh, for a long time, but yeah, I'm I'm doing a solo kind of thing today. But I'm I'm with a group called Awards that's supposed to be on the tour. But my partner in the band is not here. He's in Where France he? right now, France. but he's coming soon. He's gonna be here on the rest of the shows, uh, pretty much, uh, except for one more. And then yeah, he's gonna be here. But we were picking up our vinyl too. It's kind of yeah. I, I saw your was record was in there. I didn't expect it because I saw on the Bandcamp site that it wasn't out. Shipping until the 20th or something like that? Uh, shipping at the 12th because that's partly to do because we're on tour doing shows. And right. uh, Joey from Animal Street is with me, so we, he, he runs the label. So he's on tour with us and doing all this stuff. So, But, but the record is going to be available at the shows. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're doing that. Sorry, gosh, yeah, I forgot gosh. I was on the Yeah, I should, I, I should give a small swearing warning, just a little bit of a <clears throat> side note. No F <clears throat> or Jeff for the for the listeners. Yeah. Well, just in case something happens, uh, just the listeners uh, giving them a heads up right now. Well, if you're out there, if you got sensitive ears or whatever, we're not going to swear in the songs, but we are playing Nintendo while we talk to you, and there's every chance I'm going to really beef a good jump or something and just get sad. <laughs> well, we got Grandmaster Mario over here. Yeah, well, uh, now. now you're playing with power. <laughs> so uh, that matches up well. What are you playing? Are you playing Mario 3 over there, I saw? Yeah, it's the uh, All-Stars version of Mario 3. Yeah, that's a, a cartridge that you've got a lot of use out of, eh, Grandmaster? Yeah. It sounds like an innuendo when you put it that way. <laughs> what you levels are you playing? We just started from the beginning. I don't have anything safe. I just played the worst round of, of Mario that I've probably played since I was... Since the game came out, the day of it. You know? <laughs> since, since sitting watching The Wizard in theaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since my brother got it on his birthday. California! Yeah, yeah. Shout out why. Murder. So, Grandmaster Mario loves Mario. He's obsessed with it. He has a YouTube channel, Grandmaster Mario YouTube, but that's you're, you're still working on building that channel up. The yeah. YouTube over Twitch, is that what you recommend? No, he would do Twitch, but he doesn't have the... The converter to put his video gameplay onto onto the internet. You need that like uh, device that converts your video game to uh, video stream. Yeah. yeah, you want he wants to get that. You want to get that, right, Grandmaster? Yeah, I want to get that. Yeah, he'll Maybe be he'll be all he'll be all over Twitch as soon as he can be. I think. Okay, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Mario, Grandmaster. Yeah. So Grandmaster Mario does a couple other shows with me. Well, mostly Special Olympics Variety Hour uh, on Wednesdays. We just did it yesterday, and he has lately been doing segments to raise awareness for mental health stuff. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. But he's been doing the show for how long now? Uh, five years. Five years, and you came on on another show. Hey, does he have a record out? Is he on tour right now? <laughs> Where can I get his album? <laughs> Okay, so do you guys want to get started with a song? Or I know you guys are going to go back and forth. 
Yeah. With okay, you you got to play this All game. Right, I'm playing. Yeah, we're gonna start I'm off. So we're gonna keep the video games going. Yeah. During the performances, that's impressive. If during if the middle of this song you could get through um, like Bodacious and all the Star Road worlds and everybody <laughs> uh, the Goombas get pumpkins on their head, that'd really help uh, thematically with our the- <laughs> seasonal anthem here. Okay, so who's going first, and what song are we going to hear? You're going to hear um, Pumpkin Spice Illuminate or PSL I Love You um, by Danger Grove. I don't think I have the right controller. Maybe you just don't have the right thumbs. Here on CFRU, Danger Grove is playing tonight at the ANAF with awards and myself, Sensi Boy. And uh, what time does the show start? Yeah, yeah, you just want to like text somebody and find out during the show. <laughs> okay, great. we'll figure it out. Um, all right, here's Danger Grove on CFRU 93.3 FM live. <laughs> I got that pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin ice cafe, pumpkin spice donut, yeah, that pumpkin spice all day. Nothing like pumpkin spice, your mother might have made those pumpkin spice glaze hands, pumpkin spice potatoes, pumpkin spice stays ham. We all stunting now, we got a pumpkin spice cologne on my throat. A pumpkin shower product, pumpkin spice narcotic on the corner, pumpkin spice hot, orange lights and sirens, that's a pumpkin spice cop on the pumpkin spice block. Pumpkin smashing pumpkins, they eat pumpkin spice bootleg, smash your pumpkin's legs, what's his name? Doesn't say pumpkin spice on foreign foods, pumpkin eggs, Benedict, pumpkin spice, orange juice, spice up the boring news, hey, what's that guy in line for? Midnight sale at Apple Store, pumpkin spice, iPhone, hate it, then you love it, that's a pumpkin spice rom-com, make it out in public, pumpkin spice, calm down, shorty, let me tell you about my only advice, got to do with lots of pumpkins, and it's called pumpkin spice. Shorty, let me tell you about my only vice Got to do with lots of pumpkins and it's called pumpkin spice Okay, Shorty, let me tell you about my only vice Got to do with lots of pumpkins and it's called pumpkin spice Okay, Shorty, let me tell you about my only vice Got to do with lots of pumpkins and it's Summer is over, winter is coming, anonymous bringing us cargo. Pumpkins over everything, like a finished star road. Pumpkins by the car load, truck of my Impala. All seeing nine on the pumpkin spice. Dollar gotta pop a lot of bottles of that pumpkin spice. Chardonnay saw a lot of models in that pumpkin spice. Lingerie, pumpkin spice, tangerine, new orange Gatorade. Pumpkin spice is here to stay, no matter what the haters say. Pumpkin spice, a flavor they can save in heaven, not so. Pumpkin spice, conspiracy, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice is hot as hell, even if thermometers drop. It's like a scarecrow. You know what belongs at the top? I don't know, cinnamon? <laughs> no, pumpkin. Get that economy, Bobby. You wanna be dropping for quantity stock? Your pumpkin spice ladder from the malls of mom and pop stores. Pistol grip, pumpkin for the wars. I hope you got your shorty. Let me tell you about my only vice. Got to do with lots of pumpkins and it's called pumpkin spice. Okay, shorty, let me tell you about my only vice. Got to do with lots of pumpkins and it's called pumpkin spice. Okay, shorty, let me tell you about my only vice. It's got to do with lots of pumpkins and it's called pumpkin spice. Okay, shorty. Let me tell you about my only vice It's got to do with lots of pumpkins and a On the stand under lights, something like a goner I know my rights, I'm bleeding pumpkin spice, your honor On the stand under lights, something like a goner I know my rights, I'm bleeding pumpkin spice, your honor You might have heard it once or twice You should have took your mom's advice I'm bumping Kimya Dawson Thunder Thighs Yeah, you're well key word pumpkin spice We're, uh, we're done. All that was, right. That was, that was a, so, a sorry, I was just getting myself so I can watch the this YouTube stream. For the listeners out there, this is being streamed live on YouTube on CFRU's YouTube channel. So go to <laughs> go on YouTube and go to CFRU. The CFR YouTube. The CFR YouTube is live right now, and we've got Danger Grove and awards in. Well, half of awards technically. Thank Thank so you. we heard yeah. bronze. We heard bronze. their song from <laughs> second place award. <laughs> second place award, but the gold uh, will be on the gold medal will be on tour uh, in a couple dates. You said yeah, we're starting in Montreal. Actually, is our um, our first uh, 
when we full yeah when we get the funk master. operation because yeah. it's because he's francophone and like they've got to ease into the canadian experience yeah, yeah. and how did you fare in the mario terrible i don't know i've never played this bad in my life you did um, not I don't achieve know the goals on. that jesse set out for you jesse's always pushing That's what me, you're you trying know? to say he's like he's like that uh, he's like what? that mean coach he's like you know i don't know what doing hard well, like, things um, What's that sports movie about playing the drums? Oh, yeah. It's a lot like that. It's like that. Yeah. I'm Peter. What's his name? Yeah. That guy. And I'm what Drummy goals? Magoo. No, I don't Dude. think so. So that was a very well-themed song for this time of year as everybody's getting into their, uh, getting into their the pumpkin season. Yeah, I like how you're wearing a Christmas shirt. You're way ahead of the game. I know. You can never be prepared enough for the seasons, though. That's what I find. What goals? Goals? Video game goals. He gave him some video game goals. Don't you remember? Yeah, what are the goals? Well, well, we won't worry about those because there's going to be new video game goals for the next song. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm actually, yeah, okay. So the next song, speaking of which, just happens to be played off of a Game Boy and uh, some of my instruments and stuff like that. Um, first, oh, so there we go. Uh, so this is kind of a combo of... Uh, yeah, that's the sound I love. Yeah. This is kind of a combo of like two things, um, something that's not coming out for a while and something that's out right now on this vinyl record here so we shall do it and the record's available at the show tonight at the ANF and at all the shows in the future you guys are touring across to all the way across the whole country or just to the east coast just east coast and back okay that's um, what I thought. yeah so yeah it, the vinyl is kind of available before um it's actually available online so pre-orders yes. get them in now um because you know, they might sell out on tour and then you're... <sighs> and it's a red, it's on red vinyl. It's a r beautiful red vinyl. Does it sound better or it just, it's just red? Yeah, it sounds better, dude. It's hot fire. It's red. Right, what do you think, homie? That's what's better than an internet wave. That's the main thing people it. are thinking about when they're choosing the colors, how it's going to sound. Yeah, like the band sucks, but their vinyl <laughs> looks beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, what's the name of the song that you have lined up for us? The song is very much about October, too. It's called Pets. Um, a lot of people buy pets in October. It's a known fact. Uh, Wait, is it about October as well or October the 2nd? October, people buying pets in October. I don't know about the date. What? You said it's about October, too. Oh. He's got, well, you, he's again. Me, he's got oh, you again. He's got you again. Okay, here we go. Pets. Okay, this is awards and CFRU live. Check it out on on YouTube. See for you on YouTube. You can see the live green screen action. All right. I don't look up, they're capped to the ground Hey dog, there's no judgment intended But I'm a tad bit defended You use those mean words with a nice voice Hey dog, we can get to the same place And the job will get done the same Without you making that mad face Things are looking up again Things are looking up again Things are looking up again Again, your mess is just not the same as mine When you get down, down the ground You find that things are not so fine I say, hey dog, there's no judgment intended But I'm a dead bit defended You use those mean words worth a nice voice Hey dog, we can get to the same place And the job will get done the same Without you making that mad face Things are looking up again Things are looking up again Things are looking up again Again
alchemists or pets know that we're fools carrying on pets must think that we're alchemists or fools pets must think that we are alchemists or pets know that we're fools carrying on pets must think Digging up dinosaur bones and pumping them in the air Just to get there faster I think, what did you think? The resting bodies like ink Nothing to do safe and sound underground I don't think that they dug them up Some sucker sucked them into the engine Imagine, full fuel but the fool didn't cool Just let it be R.I.P. Grey puff made the stuff once dead Breathe it in through the holes in your head The apparition follows you around And makes something of a car motorbike like sound I know it's hard to hear it Not a gust of wind, it's a ghost like spirit Fear it, I kinda care how you feel But to me this is real To disturb one's grave just to move your steel Is an ignorant mode as the pistons explode With your wheels on the road Not daring or taunting What we have here this is clearly a haunting The truth is truly Exhausting what is driving us is best laid to rest. Left alone, I'm a simple man. All I need now is the warmth of my fire, a sharp stick, and the wheel. I'm a simple man. All I need is horsepower, gunpowder, then radio and TV. I'm a simple man, all I need is microwave long distance flights to the moon, signal nuclear. I'm a simple man, all I need is my computer with Wi-Fi, internet, and jetpack. You say you just don't scare. Throw your hands to your hips and it's just not fair. The dinosaur, it died long before, so now it's carbon monoxide to even the score. I can't stop driving, that is a setback. What a weird way for them to get back. To return as a ghost, yo, it might be a hoax. So we'll travel with convenience to everyone chokes. Every second is limited edition. Don't get captured. Hiding your head in the sand again. Every moment is limited edition. Don't get captured. Hiding your head in the sand again. Every moment is limited edition. Don't get captured. Hiding your head in the sand, just think. Cause every day here is limited edition. Don't get captured. Hiding your head in the sand till the end. Hiding your head in the sand, my friend Every minute is limited edition Don't get captured Hiding your head in the sand again Every moment is limited edition Don't get captured Hiding your head in the sand just think Cause every day here is limited edition Don't get captured Hiding your head in the sand till the end Cool, thanks. All right. So that was a double shot from awards. 
And uh, that was Dinosaur Bones. I played that one. I know that because I played it on the radio yesterday oh, on our show. Thank you, thank you so much. It's awesome. Uh, so well, the first one, is that, the, is that Dogs and Cats? Uh, no, actually. That's not that's Dogs. It's another because... pet-themed song. Okay. So, because... yeah, that, actually, that one actually I think kind of predates uh, Dogs and Cats, but it's just it was another version on like another, with another project that's probably never going to come out, so I just rewrote it with the Game Boy. And... Um, yeah, same lyrics, but it's probably never coming out. And so that was a rare probably not for a long time. That yeah. was potentially a rare live exclusive. Exactly. Yeah, it's never yeah, it's never been recorded in any way. Whatsoever. Well, we try to get the rare live exclusives as much as possible on these live broadcasts. Sensi boy, that's what's up. So I feel like it just went down a lot in value now that it's recorded forever online. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Or it just went up in value. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that, that rare seven inch that's uh well, the see for you YouTube channel just went up in value. Hell yeah, awesome! Let's see if our YouTube channel went up in see value. Because yeah. that was I. There was no way for me to know because Dog or Cat is not a song that is listenable to the public right now. Oh yeah, because the yeah. Because there's only certain songs on the Bandcamp that are currently listenable because the album's not officially out yet. I thought right. He was saying that the song was unlistenable. <laughs> unlistenable is like the public will literally <laughs> I'm rip a, their eardrums I'm out. I'm a jerk, but I'm song. not that mean. No, no, no. There, that's the only song on the album that has a little bit of like a like a like a curse thing in it at the end oh. of it. So don't you can just cut it short. The whole song's playable. So I shouldn't be playing it anyways, even if it was I playable. Give it a shot, but just you know, DJ with the quick hands. Well there, if you DJ after turn. nine PM it's not as much of a big deal I'm but coming back, I'm gonna swear in the middle of the day I, I, most of my shows are in the middle of the day, so okay. Cool. But uh, but we gave the swearing warning. Some people know some swears might be coming on this broadcast, so don't, don't sweat it too this much. Morning. Little kids are tuning in to hear the latest in swear words. I actually promoted this online on my uh, on my Twitch channel, saying, "Kids, tune if you want to learn all the bad swear words. Tune in to CFRU today. We're going to list them." What's your Twitch channel? Uh, Girl JD, but I didn't really do Twitch it. Uh, so I want to promote uh, Lizard G a bit because you yeah. came all the way from Colorado. So what's your story? How did you get involved in this project? And what uh, what's up with um, Let me explain. coming all the way up from Colorado? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse, yeah, well, uh, I met Jesse through the internet. I, am, I was into like the nerdcore he hip-hop nerd kind of stuff that he was doing. And I ran out of other remixes to make. I went through this weird period where all I could make was remixes. And so I ran out of like... Lil Wayne, Gwen Stefani acapellas to remix and started emailing <laughs> people. Okay, hold on, Grandmaster. We're, we're talking about something else. Carry on. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, he liked the uh, remixes I sent him. and I loved them. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you're like, don't be mad. <laughs> you're like, I'm so sorry. I did a remix of your song. And I was like, give me more. <laughs> yeah, and then it just kind of grew from there. We did this. Uh, so when did that happen? When did this first remix happen? Shit, Jesse, when was that? Um, 2016. 2016. Early, early 2016. So you've been sort of in communication since then, basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but all I, for all I knew, she was catfishing me. Yeah, I, I was actually. <laughs> At the time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but then you had to like make it come real. Yeah, that's that's why the name's different on the first on the remix uh, record. Yeah. Ah, okay. This is the this is uh, great background info. Everyone's getting exclusives. So then that's how you started working together, and then this project. When did this? When did work on this project? Current project uh, come about? Yeah, we uh, we're doing this um, like this competition through the um, nerdcore hip hop Facebook group and. <laughs> We, at the end of that, we had five or six tracks, I think, that were finished, and we decided we were going to put them out as an EP, but uh, neither of us know how to chill at all, and so <laughs> now it's ten tracks, I think, ten tracks, and it's a full record on vinyl, and yeah. And you just picked it up today? Yes, yeah, like right before we came here. Both vinyls are picked up today. Isn't that exciting, picking up vinyl? It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. What was the, What were they like at the, at the place, at the processing plant? What were they like? I didn't guys? give them any warning that we were coming, so they oh, were really weirded idea. out. Good idea. They were just like, I've, uh, we're going to have, sound like you, Jesse. We're going to have to find this. Yeah. And the guy went and got, he got his <gasps> forklift and he extended it as high as it would go. <laughs> and he slammed it down on my foot and he said, next time you call <laughs> ahead. And then he got like a record for us. But yo, this, 
There was this older gentleman who had driven a a big truck to pick up like a giant freight, and he was like, "What are they shipping vinyl records out of here?" And we were like, <laughs> "Yeah, dude, they're actually pretty popular." He's like, "They still they're not new." Yeah, but we actually got ours done today. He's like, "What are they, how do they sound?" <laughs> uh, some pretty good actually, old man. <laughs> and he started talking to us about how he sold all his Led Zeppelin records for 200 bucks. And I don't know. Cool. <laughs> so he simultaneously knows that vinyl is valuable from his big sale. Well, I don't And know. that it's getting popular again, yet hasn't connected that people might want new records. Listen, I'm not saying He's going to have the realization it. soon. He's going to be driving that yeah. truck yeah. out of He's there. He's going to be like, wait a now. second. Yeah. He's going to go into the bootleg. Like, definitely a couple of boxes of Arkell's 12 inches fell off the back of that <laughs> truck after he... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> He's going to have an epiphany <laughs> about about vinyl we're, still being uh, a medium. Yeah, we're going to see him use. on Behind the Music, and it's going to be his story of, like, how did you get involved in the record industry? He's like, these these 40-year-old kids had this shitty record, and I thought I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, they went, they went and got it. But what um, I have to, like, do a, an extra mail couple here because I just told... Lizard, please drive to Canada. Pick me up yeah. from the uh, from the Greyhound in Guelph. We're gonna drive to Burlington and, and pick up just a few records. It's no big deal. Um, Was this Precision Press that you? Precision yeah, Press, yeah. yeah. Word, up, word up, Precision. Yeah, yeah they did a great job. Them. Also, they're friggin' gorgeous. Yeah, and the inside's even better. But I haven't even had the guts to open it yet. But like, so we pull up in her car. What kind of? Zoom car it onto the. Zoom it into the. Zoom them into the thing. Into the cam. And ours is Matt, not Matthew, but Matt. Not shiny. Ours is shiny, so you be, they, you be the judge. That, we have something in common now because I got my Sensi Boy record pressed there too. Oh, so we all precision. That's the only thing we Let's got. Let's hang out. Let's be friends. We all have no oh, wait, three features. Are. Cool. Um, what kind of car do you drive, Lizard? It's a uh, it's a little Ford Fiesta hatchback thing. Yeah, and Itty how many? I don't know that the Ford Fiesta is rated more than like two hundred records. Like on the <laughs> on consumer on the consumer's website they're like two hundred and fifty max and you're dragging your tailpipe. And so like she saw them pull the pallet of records out. Yeah. And what she didn't say yeah. was Jesse, this is not happening and I'm leaving you here and returning to America this second. Uh she just fit them all in. She Tetris them. Nice. Uh which was bittersweet because if you make a complete line they disappear. So a bunch of the boxes disappeared. Yeah, we've only yeah, so they're very yeah. limited now. Actually, Good. compared yeah, to film, yeah, extremely yeah. limited. Extremely yeah. limited. I lost track. Good lost video game joke, Grandmaster. You are sleeping on that one? I lost complete no. control of my cat trap game. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to be able to participate in the interview. I don't I've even get know these about mummies. this game. I don't even want to play it. What game are you playing right now? Cat trap on the Game Boy. It's one of my faves. It's like kind of sort of a. Oh, it's like a like platform Sokoban, if that makes sense to anyone. Yep. Speed run. What are you talking about? Speedruns? I don't know. Just Have like you ever done a cat trap speedrun? People just like to say video game words. And, you know, yeah. Speed run. And you know what? <laughs> FPS. Know. Before we were coming here, Grandmaster Mario was like, the, the Mexican speedrunner. Watch the, all the Mexican speedrunners runs. I'm like, okay, well, that's going to take a while because he well, has no, a they're whole really, career. They're, no, they're, they're really fast. fast. I know they're fast. That's whole the whole point. point. But he has a lot of them. When you add up a lot of speed runs, it takes a while to get it's through. It's like all. a normal length of one game. He did them all. Didn't didn't Mexican speedrunner do all the NES games? <laughs> he did know. all seven hundred and fourteen. All seven hundred and fourteen. Wait, where is he? Where is he touring? I, is I don't he know. Playing, I just is he playing with us in who, Kingston? Who are we talking about? I don't even know. I the hope Mexican so. It's gonna be a busy. It's speedrunner? gonna be a big show if he is. <laughs> Man, I just remember no, one of the first watch, times wanna, we wanna, were hanging out. Watch it. All his videos. Just hold on, Grandmaster. I just remember one of the first times I, when I realized how much I loved Jesse. I was just I dropped for some reason. I was like, Alucard. <laughs> and Jesse's like, Castlevania, what, Castlevania three. What the <laughs> or whatever it was, Super Castlevania. I was just like, I don't know why I said Alucard. It was probably during a crappy. You were probably high, yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah. you probably tried to say Dracula. You're like random friend test coming up now. He has <laughs> exactly. no idea. He has exactly. no idea. Let's see how he does. Well, yeah. What I what I didn't tell him at the time, and this is like on air like uh jerry springer like revelation <laughs> is that i didn't even play it i just read nintendo power issues damn, cover to cover damn so i oh. knew okay. like right. it's like i'd been through every level yeah. of the game but i didn't put thumb to plastic hey, that nice. is this unexpected seems, yeah surprise yeah well i got it for christmas one year so there you go i actually I, had it i got snake mountain that made oh, my voice sound cool nice dude that's yeah. actually even cooler kind of Sorry, it's not a competition I win, though. No, but that would have been before <laughs> that. Snake Mountain came out way before. Well, you're older than I am, so. All right, all right, keep it going, keep it going. 
I'm just saying. See who's friends at the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> so this next song is a diss track to Thesis Sahib of Awards, and it's called I Got Snake Mountain When You Were 15. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes. Okay, tune in live on C4U Woo. on the website, YouTube, C4U YouTube, to see what is going on live in the studio right now. We got Gr- Danger Grove and Awards playing at ANF, ANAF tonight. Take it away. This is actually a song about depression and sadness. Can I play Nintendo while you're doing that sad song? <laughs> I miss the sun going down on me. Shadows got long on the tooth while I wander confused like I'm neutralized. Zombie like, euthanized. I've been sitting on this hard floor, this cold floor. Bone tired, my body stiff, my heart sick, my cold. St- all my life have been bedded on. All my days have been so short. I can't pretend if I hold forth. I hold court. I hold the fort. I don't sleep. I sit and stare. 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 I don't sleep. I don't sleep. I, don't sleep. I haven't showered today. Can I get away with it? I haven't showered this week. Can I get away with it? I can't remember the last time. I can't remember what reason to. I can't be further from satisfied. I am not certain what people do. And you. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, fine, and you? <laughs> no, but how are you really? Now that you ask, I mean, I don't know. I sat on the floor a long time ago. Just for a second, but that second stretched till it was epic like I've a hoe. I got it to do with the length of my will. I'm thinking to myself to be chasing a chill. I'm draining my brain to get racing and chill. So I'm taking a pill. Ah, don't call it a little white lie. I'm looking for truth. I'm looking for focus. I'm looking for use when I'm useless. I'm looking for hope when I'm hopeless. I want a pretty little perfect silver bullet. I want a fire starter pistol Ready, steady, go oh, No more warning shots Morning's lost out of the warming pot Cold sweat pouring If I want a holy I, I don't, don't sleep I don't sleep, I sit and stare. Yeah. I don't sleep, I sit and stare. 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 I don't sleep, I don't sleep. Ah! Yeah. Danger Grove on live on C4U right now on YouTube and on air. Here's another little behind the scenes joint. We forgot to put the drums in the track, so that was like an extra emotional version. Yeah, you got a, awesome. yeah, it was got a, the acoustic was version wondering. without drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was uh, it was the all rhythm in, internal. <laughs> <laughs> you got to buy the vinyl to hear how that beat goes, or so, just pop it up on YouTube. It's real. Right. So that was the uh, drum free version. Yeah, yes. for people who hate drums, we we want to make hip hop for people who dislike drums deeply. <laughs> yeah, just a little different. So Coke's Records, where's Coke's Records from? BC. Uh, it's Ray Spoon's label, uh, a oh. legendary road warrior performing in like country and electronic, and they're, they write books and they theorize about gender and they're brilliant. And I'm a big fan. Ray Spoon was just in Guelph, actually. Yeah, we're on tour at the same time because they just put their album out in September, uh, and then put our album out now or in two weeks. And uh, I was so nervous to ask them about maybe would you put our record on your album because like I get a chance to like meet like I rub shoulders with some people I think are pretty awesome a lot whether they're genuinely famous or whatever yeah thesis (laughs) is mainly talking about um (laughs) but every time for like years that I encountered Ray Spoon if we were like playing a festival or we both played the same gay wedding or uh like I just went to see them I would get tongue-tied and be like Okay, I think you're pretty good. Anyway, but can I get the record? And uh, they were polite to me, but I was like, there's, there's no way they like me. 
But then we did um, a song together that's actually just coming out tomorrow on all streaming sites. We did a cover of Guerrilla Radio by um, uh, Rage Against the Machine. Which I don't know if they're a big Rage Against the Machine fan. I had to like catch up and study because I was never. I like the actual Public Enemy a lot, <laughs> you know. Um, but I learned. I learned all of Zach's bizarre, confusing flows, and uh, Ray made this incredible like deep house beat. And uh, once we made that, I was like, okay, we're friends. If they wanted me to do this song for do the this Tony collaboration then we must be friends so i wasn't so embarrassed about which is it. coming out tomorrow you said yeah it's gonna be on it's that's good timing everybody's spotify yeah what a coincidence that's good timing i put out a single as jesse dangerously um every every month the first friday of every month uh, this year i've been doing it supported through my patreon but that's not the question it's about coke's records an incredible label guelph's own bird city is on coke's uh you know the yeah i know i've seen the name i just don't know the story behind it I actually didn't know it was Ray Spoon's label, so yeah. yeah. Once I'm they getting, moved out, uh, of, once they I'm moved getting out of, educated now, along with the listeners. Once they moved out of uh, Montreal, they uh, they put it down. And it's a co-op label. Um, it's like a lot of artists like sharing resources and stuff. It's really exciting, and thank like it's the biggest thing I've uh, on my level. It's the biggest thing I've ever done because I've always I've been putting out independent records as Jesse Dangerously for. Well nigh on 20 years, I think my They've first... been coming through the station. I've seen them. Oh, yeah. I do my little mail-outs every, them through here. every decade or it's so. It's good. Hey, I mail-outs are hard to do. <laughs> Especially if you're they're super not lazy. Hard to, they're not to hard do. to do, but they are hard to do. You yeah, know it's hard, you it's know hard to I mean. start. It's hard to get started. It's hard to motivate. But, um, but yeah, I've always done it myself, and, like, Cokes has uh, distribution physically, like, across Canada, and they work with publicists. They were able to link, link me with a publicist, and so, like, I'm just... Really happy to be maybe reaching a few more people. Just rolling in the connects and now. what an album to do it with. The beautiful beats of Lizard Grove and my saddest raps, my very saddest raps I could muster. Sensational. Sensi. Sensational. All right, so we're... Okay, so that was a question about Coke's records. Uh, Grandmaster Mario, did you have a question that you wanted to sub in here before we get to the next song? No, I don't. No? Okay. I know Grandmaster wants to ask about some favorite video game life career highlights and stuff like that, but we'll save that for later. Well, you can see Thies Diesel actually doing pretty decent on the... Uh, He's about to have game. a video game career highlight right now. Actually, uh, yeah, no, I'm really sucking at this. The controllers are different, man. This is the buttons like, aren't working? Buttons are what is it that they say about an incredible workman? He always yeah, blames his tools. His tools. Just always just blames the, his The greatest <laughs> work... <laughs> No, these are garbage. That's what Grand, Grandmaster's oldest trick. He'd be like, let's play this game against each other, and then he'd hand me a controller, and half the buttons aren't working. I'm like, oh, yeah. I can't seem to keep oh, up with you. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey, I have, I have a video just game kidding, career high coming up, though, for real. Um, oh, you're making one? Yeah, I'm making a video game right now. So, so put really? That in your, put that in your... What? Put what that, should I put you know, it in? Your put that in your console. console. You know, CRTC, tune yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Put that put, in put your that 80s in your car- console. Put, yo, yo, put that in, in your, your cartridge and blow it. Put, yeah, dude. Put that in yeah. Love it. <laughs> Love all the video yeah. game references. Very good. Yeah. That's very, yeah. Okay, that's a good one, Jeff. Keep that for yeah. stage banter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's that going in my back pocket. That's a CFRU exclusive. Do you want to play a song or something? Yeah, um, I can play a beat actually from the video game if you'd want, since it's time. Well, well, uh, if you want to tell us more about the video game, or just play the beat and then tell us about the video game, because I want to hear about it. Okay, a little bit of A, a little bit of B. <laughs> little bit <laughs> so of like start, little, up, down, up, down. A little bit of button A, a little bit of button B. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, well while I'm while I'm firing up my band here, hey, was that the Konami as, code that you just said there? It was the it was the uh, That's the Ninja Turtles version. No, that was the uh, uh, Contra. The Contra Konami it was, code. It was, yeah. it was a joke. It was like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I up, ended down, up, up, down. It's the only way you can even make it in anywhere in Contra. I know, I love uh, Contra, good. but... Yeah, but... Th- Such but a hard game. Ninja Almost Turtles, as hard as Battletoads. Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, uh, had uh, oh. a slight uh, twist on the Konami Variation code. of the Konami code? B-A, B-A, up, down, Contra. B-A, left, right, left, right. I forget. Select. I can kind of just do B-A, it B-A, and B-A, not talk down, about B-A, it. B-A, left, right, B-A, select, start. Put that controller in my hand. Yo, and in gamer... in um. It was this 80s gaming magazine. My friend Joel Witte had it. And I'd go to his house at lunch, and we'd play Konami games. And there was an April Fool's issue, and they, they showed you... Uh, there was like a little tiny photo, because that's all they had of games in those days. Screenshot, and it was Simon Belmont in 
uh, the Ninja Turtles 2 arcade game wow. environment, uh, the the NES version, and they said that they're like they had, they put this super long code and said that if you put that in, you could play as Simon Belmont, and it, <laughs> but it included like resetting the machine twice in the middle of it, and like so people we all we tried it a whole we kept we were late back from lunch to junior high that day, and uh, yeah the next month they printed a retraction and they're like there's no code you dumb. That was an oh. April Fool's joke. Didn't you see the date on the episode on the issue, guys? Look, I, I could have read it yeah. any day in April. Actually, <laughs> like, true. They didn't know when I was. And I mean, when you're a little kid, you don't see that coming. You trust your video game publications to be forthcoming and transparent with you. Also, uh, speaking of parents and uh, April Fool's Day, I'm sorry, this is on topic. Uh, my mom got me so bad with April Fool's Day back when I was that age. She put. Uh, Brand flakes in the Golden Grams, but I caught her. Oh, like I was going to pour my morning Golden Grams. I was like, oh, this box feels weird. Something put off. it back, and I looked at the Brand flakes box. Yep, Golden Grams. Boom, haha. Mom poured the milk on it. Orange juice. Orange juice. She replaced Whoa, the milk. Whoa, she oh, one up to you. She got you twice. My mom next leveled me. She She's gonna up, make she... it so you're deuce and you're in English class with that brand. She, you're gonna have to leave class. No, I don't think my mother has thought of that way. <laughs> she knew you were gonna be like Indiana Jones with the sand with the with the cereal box. Oh, she knew you were gonna she know. She knew. She knew. Like, she she's gonna know the weight of the cereal box, but he's not gonna see the orange juice coming. But yeah, and she made me stronger. She taught me how to deal with betrayal from someone you love. Nice. All right, and that's the subject of this next song. Yeah, no, just kidding. And it's and not. Then he decided to, and then he decided to start being a rapper, and then just prepared him for that. So that's cool. The whole betrayal. Anyways, uh, yeah. Um, so I'll, I'm gonna play the beat right now. So um, I'll betrayal. play this. I'll, I'll play this first, just cause uh, mm. I got my guys all all set to blast. It. All right, blast it, gonna, blaster master. So it's kind of like an extended version of, or it's a short version, but it's got all this extra noise over top that I'm gonna play live for you. So perfect. Okay. All right. Here we go. Take it away. So that was played all off of the Game Boy too. There's a combination of uh, Game Boy is the main the main guy, and then uh, um, I have this other instrument here, which I call Central Command, and it's playing all my sounds. Oh, is it a MIDI controller type? Yeah. Device. Yeah. yeah. So people in Guelph are, are uh, they're into that. Well, people in Guelph are familiar with Game Boys as instruments because oh, there's an cool. artist here called Tyson and his Game Boy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is Tyson he's, coming to the show tonight? He's been not Did he used to live in London? No, he's from uh, KW originally, Okay, is he in another band, too? Uh, he's in lots of bands in, in Guelph. He's in Esther Gray. Um, 
Esther Gray. He played in London, though. Mm-hmm. He's played in London a bunch, I'm yeah, sure. At that graffiti jam, maybe. I'm sure he's played in London yeah. many times. Listeners, call in yeah. and let us know yeah. if he was yeah. at What's that the name graffiti of that band? jam. Dope. Was it Soft Is he in Soft Side? He's played in Soft Side. Okay. They kind of have a rotating lineup, but. Cool. <gasps> Yeah, yeah, he, he actually played London a while ago, I think, with his Game Boy, like years ago. Probably That's back cool. in his Game Boy. Yeah, he doesn't do the Game Boy stuff as much anymore. All right, Tyson. But people, yeah, Tyson yeah, what is up, Game Tyson? Boy. Right. Shout out Tyson. Yeah, yeah, shout yeah, out yeah. Tyson. And shout out his Game Boy. He's got yeah. it out. Of, when you go to his studio, he's got it up on his wall. It's just, just in case. He's like, Casey, you need any Game Boy stuff, it's here. Casey, who's Casey? Why are you bringing him up? Casey Jones. Casey LeBat. A... Uh, why don't you, uh, yeah, Casey Jones, Ninja Turtles, throwback. You yeah, gotta know what a th- crumpet is to understand cricket. Oh, <laughs> you're going to LaGuardia, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so that's yeah, coming so, out on a video game. You said. Yeah. So let me try and tell my guys to shut up here for one second on my computer. Okay. Uh, uh, not you. Not you. Not you. Don't okay, get well, a, well, Don't get all upset, Jesse. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. yeah I'm so, sorry for what it's like being around me. <laughs> <laughs> we are too. No. Oh. Um, yeah. So. My very good friend Jesse Jacobs. He's an extremely talented cartoon artist, uh, cartoon comic book artist. He's a writer. He writes awesome stuff. He's yeah. He does lots of great stuff. He does tons of illustration work. He just did one for uh, the New Yorker just recently. He's all over the place. He's doing great stuff with his work. It's very iconic. Um, he was living in London for a while. Is it a safer Jesse than Jesse Dangerously? I wouldn't say no. This guy's da- this guy's like more dangerous. Jesse super undangerously. Well, right now he's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean he's pretty chill with his stuff, but he he lives wild sometimes. I don't know guy. if you're seeing how I'm chopping up these birds the whole way down that the Battle Toads tunnel. That is pretty good. I don't think he's more dangerous. I might not have made that joke if I had seen. But seen I like that. it. I like it. Yeah, um, yeah. So uh, Jesse Jacobs, he was living in London, and then we were hanging out and like looking at each other's art and. Kicking it and making food together and getting Once crazy. To another. And yeah, and the next minute he moved to Hamilton. Uh, and then <laughs> we were still homies, and he would come see my shows. And then he was like, yo, I'm making a video game. Um, do you want to make music for it? And in the wake of the end of the steel industry in Hamilton, he went into video game <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Making. Went yeah. to steel. He went there to steal, but like car stereos and stuff. But then... Later on, video games. He stole a bunch of consoles, played them, realized he liked the video games. He thought he hated them before, and then now he's making video games. This is like a I slam like poem. Now I'm going to make them. Yeah. Yeah. S- yeah, so it's Spinch so when does is the it name of the game. Spinch. Uh, we don't know when it's coming out because... Wait, can you say Spinch in the middle of the day on the radio? Spinch. Is that, <laughs> is <it laughs> friendly? Son of a Spinch. Um, don't Spinch me like ah, that. Ah, the Jesse. middle of the Spinch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What kind of salad you got there? Spinch. No, whenever I write spinch into the computer, it autocorrects it to spinach all the time. I have people like writing me back like, don't you even know the name of your own game you're making, buddy? It says, <laughs> it's not spinach, you fool. I'm pretty sure you're not making a game called spinach. That yeah. would be it's a- actually a sequel to the old Popeye game that was the oh. Donkey Kong predecessor. <laughs> Minor 2049er. Damn. I'm 40 years of age. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's Spinch, and it's really awesome. Queen Bee Games is making it, and like we've played all the demos a million times. I, I, we're always adjusting and checking. And actually, there's a demo version of it um, playing. At, you can play it at Museum London right now because Jesse Jacobs is in an amazing art show there with like tons of great artists. Seth, I think, who's from maybe here. You know, yeah, Seth? Seth is from. Yeah, Guelph. he's in it. Uh, Deanna, our friend Deanna, put the show together. Uh, shout out to Museum London, Cassie. What's up? Um, and everybody else there. Uh, yeah, so you can play the game there as a demo. But then I have a show opening up in Sarnia. It's like a museum show there. I've been working on it for like five years, and you can play the game there too. But it's going to be like projected really big, and you can play it in the exhibition. And is this a uh, with your artwork? Yeah, it's a solo exhibition of my artwork and like larger versions of these uh, instruments that I'm playing today that you can play. In the gallery, like people in are Sarnia, which in. is not too far from London, I guess. No, it's only an hour and a half, and it's the Judith Norman Alex Art Gallery, which is like this brand new. I'd say brand. It's like four years old, brand, but not the brand that was in Jesse's cereal. <laughs> Callback. <laughs> oh, damn, too soon, too soon. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's a Judith Norman Alex Art Gallery. What up, Lisa Daniels and the crew there? Yeah, so the show it's just like piles of my work. Just on in a pile, 
(laughs) (laughs) On walls, believe it or not. Some on the floor, actually, for real. And um, yeah. Yeah, like video stuff. Well, maybe I can make the pilgrimage because I'm a I, I'm a big fan of your visual art, so that'd be cool to see all like, of it. In you like that stuff? Like that. Uh. Thank you, Sensi. That's dope, man. Yeah, please, if you can come out, that'd be really cool. Yeah, the opening's November second. We're gonna have a party. I think we're actually maybe. Go- Are we doing a show still, or did they? Where? At Sarnia, what's happening? Because Jesse's coming no, to teach classes have, there too. Yeah. Uh. Well, that might a happen workshop. in November, but in they, November. we weren't able to get a show on this tour. No, not this tour, but are we doing, are you coming? Because for the opening party, originally we were going to do like the opening where everybody comes and hangs out, and then we were going to do a $5 rap show after. Look, I'll go there. I'll go there. But, but, is it still happening? But. Oh, man, we're on the radio. We'll figure it out. All right, talk to you guys soon. Sounds like it's a maybe. Yeah. That's a hot maybe for me, dog. (laughs) It's up to Bergwertler, so we got to figure that out. All right, uh, that's exciting. I was uh, Word Burglar was at Fan Expo, and I was selling comic books at, fa- at Fan Expo, and I didn't know Word Burglar was there. And people were like, my Twitter was like uh, blowing up for uh, the extent that it blows up for me, which is like a couple <laughs> tweets, and uh, yes, me too. and people were like, I can't believe how, how have you t- where, where's your selfie with Word Burglar? You guys are at the thing, the Fan Expo together. I was like, well, I had no idea he was here. I'm really sorry. And uh, there was a couple, like two or three fans that were disappointed. You Damn. beefing? You beefing now? Is that <laughs> what I'm hearing? Yeah, you and Burger got beef. No, man. the fans have beef. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, the fans were. Uh, fans always got beef. The That's fans were crying fans. for that uh, that sensi uh, <laughs> content with the <laughs> uh, word burglar. Do you I'm make sure your own be comics. A, it's gonna be a sensi burg. Do you make your own EP? comics? Uh, not as of now, but I have a I have a plan for a, a comic, but but uh, I don't want to tell you. It's about my cat that was lost, and, and then he was gone for two years, and it's gonna be the adventures that he was oh, on while he was away. Sorry to hear about your cat. Yo, He's back a- now, though. He's back. Oh damn! Yeah. All right. So really happy lost. to hear about your cat. <laughs> spoiler for the for the for the. Yeah, I'm not gonna comic. read it now. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, shall we get into another song here? Yeah. Sure. Let's do a song, boys. We're going to bounce over to Danger Grove now. We've got uh, half of awards and the full version of Danger Grove in the studio right now. Yeah. You can tune in live on CFRU on YouTube, and it will be in the YouTube archives as well. This is one of the remixes that Lizard surprised me with on internet. Um, well, it was less of a surprise because I sent her the, um, the acapellas, but uh, it's, uh, for the song Halifax Rap Legend off of my album Humble and Brilliant. And the gist of this poem is that I'm from the birthplace of hip-hop, Halifax, Nova Scotia. And in that milieu, I am a legend. And don't read my Wikipedia. Don't read anything. That's my message. Books are over. Like Ron Carter, that's a non starter. Even if there's more of you than avant garde is in Montmartre. Only but Joan of Arc, Napoleon Bonaparte, you could still get blown apart. Hold me and thrown the sharks, throw in the dark. Stars don't hardly get pressed. Astronomers, no one in park. Cars can party unless they're honking first. Well, that's why I rap fast usually, so you can be still impressed if I can. Half assed and foolishly still. Yeah. 14 syllables, and it wasn't about car wheels. Hey, I'm friends with Hope Larson, a dope person in the tire hill. I got rabbit with science. I've been practicing for so long. I got more rhymes than four lines, and most rapid than a whole song they got written. And that's an achievement. You can't and cats can believe in. So at the end of the show, where you go, you wish you didn't have to believe in. But actually, even the things I don't say, but let you know implicitly, are so explicitly expressed that if they could, they'd go and visit me in Halifax. Ow. Rap legend. No matter what anyone says, I'm a Halifax rap legend. Yeah, whether you like it or not, I'm a Halifax rap legend. Even if no one heard of me, I'm a Halifax rap legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The crew's overrated. You been resting on your laurels. I serve nuts like you, like I worked at a restaurant for squirrels. Yeah, that joke could have been cruder. But I guess I want the world to look upon me fondly, even when I pass up on their girls. I know you're thinking, what's with the macho shit, Jesse D? You're more like the opposite, yes, indeed. But I thought it was, I don't know, 
funny? Well, droll, a little exercise, self-control When I damn well feel like it Or when hell runs cold, whichever comes first Never said it done verse in my life Well, I'm right, but I could have done worse I'm as good of a person as any you know And I sped up the flow and it should have been slow Psych, just kidding, thought about doing that But I didn't bother that it would make me look bad Kind of like plagiarism, savior derision Derivative works are a major tradition in rap even though today they could take it to prison for that So if anyone asks, I made all my rhythms from scratch You can wink at or they'll never catch me I'm a gem and not a crook Like the Pink Panther and also a Halifax Rap legend No matter what anyone says, I'm Halifax Rap legend Yeah, whether you like it or not, I'm a Halifax Rap legend Even if no one heard of me, I'm a Halifax Rap legend Lives in Ottawa Never tell no one that I told you, but there's no such thing as acting like you know too much. No one knows that thing you do of the shit of a good review, so don't get mad at what I am, cause you think it should be like stand the army you take full court advantage just to be remembered funny like the as you them down on Gadigen or Northern Diner breakfast. But but it was more than kind of breakfast, nevertheless, it's a Halifax rap legend. No matter what it is. Halifax, rap legend. Yeah, whether you like it or not, I'm Halifax, rap legend. No one heard of me, I'm all. Halifax, rap legend. Say it again. Halifax, rap legend. So they can hear you out on the street there. Halifax, rap legend. Rap legend. So they can hear you on the radio station. Halifax, rap legend. So across Canada, then overcome it. Halifax, rap legend. with that orange juice trick, but I'm back now, Mom, and I'm a legend. Uh, but Mom, you're the April Fool's Day legend of my heart. That's Seven pretty good, Mom, for tricking. <laughs> it sucked, actually. Live on CFRU, Danger Grove, and awards. Playing tonight at the ANAF, and that show, I still don't know when it's starting, even though I'm playing the show. Pretty strange like, that I don't know that info, but that's just what it's like being a rapper. Yeah. It's just moving, moving through life in a haze. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like you know how a Roomba just like hits something and turns around? <laughs> yeah. That's hip hop. <laughs> That's the modern state of rap. <laughs> hey, you can't duck in this contra if you're watching and just totally judging me. Sorry. Oh, is it just this contra that you can't duck in? You could duck in all contra. Really? So, but you oh, can't you duck. You can duck now. What the heck happened? Man, yeah, what the duck. duck now? What the duck's going on? So, what are you guys? What console is being played over there? From duck to dawn. What? The, is it Super Nintendo? It's uh, that's an NES, right? That's an NES. Yeah, we're uh, it's a Retro Pie, so it's just uh, a. Okay, so we're rocking some emulator action. Jesse, yeah. you're a Retro Pie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cheesecake pinup. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm like a herb garlic cheesecake pinup. I'm um, like a herb tarlic cheesecake pinup. <laughs> 40 years of age <laughs> so this is um it's a retro pie so it's a raspberry pie that's got um uh an em yeah emulators loaded and it pretty much plays like nes super nes master system game boy game boy color it's got mame in there although it's really hard to get it to work with most arcade games oh, and no sega it, no it does have uh it's got tons of sega but i don't have any controllers with enough buttons to properly play uh I was never a Sega person anyway. I I'm, didn't have Sega. It's not that I wasn't into it. I, just, I had Game Gear. Yeah, Game Gear was cool because it was color and you could take it places and the battery would last nine seconds. But um, but yeah, back in the day, like I was, an, I was a Nintendo Power reader and I straight up resented the Sega like attitude in commercials. Like Nintendo never went negative. Nintendo was like, they go low, we go high. Sega was like, we do what Nintendo don't. And Sega was like, yeah, nice little uh, uh, ice cream truck you could drive around, but how about this F1 with blast processing? Man, there's no such thing as blast processing. <laughs> That's true. Call, actually, what about the Dreamcast, anything. though? What about the Dreamcast? Didn't Sega try to get more positive with the Dreamcast? Yeah, and then look what happened. They they couldn't do it. They went positive, and then they man. went totally Stay down. What they should have done is they should have put more uh, elbow grease into the Saturn, which was an incredible console but they were too tight wide with their uh, developer kit. So while uh, while um, Sony was kicking their butts up and down the block, like just 
giving away free developer kits for the PlayStation, which made every game look the same and hideous uh, if it was 3D. Uh, nobody knew how to develop for the two processors in the Sega Saturn, which was way more powerful. And that's why Sega played yourself. So it started with the Saturn, not the Dreamcast. Well, Dreamcast was sort of them trying to come back from it, but it doesn't... It was a great console. It had those, that sort of before-its-time thing with the uh, yeah. the detachable uh, Tamagotchi. <laughs> it could, uh, but PlayStation... was it play, Which PlayStation killed it? Was it 2? I would say it killed itself before 2 even had to lift a finger. Was well, 2 a- came out before, just before, and stole all the spotlight. It was also... Um, Sony was a little bit more draconian about their uh, their copy protection. It was really easy to crack Dreamcast, and even like in fact that was like Dreamcast had its second life, just like with jacked, burned CDs, yes. which didn't which didn't gain them anything because they were just buying their second hand. They, they didn't get any money. I remember one of my friends had a Dreamcast, and he's like, "I got every game on yeah. these all these burned." He had like a big CD binder of burned CDs. Yeah, of actually, all the games. to bring it back to uh, to hip hop, not uh, not to uh, accuse him of a felony or anything, but Uncle Fester had mad still, Dreamcast games, still is on and that we bonded website. like that was early. Yeah, yeah. Fester's still all over that. Like, he's I like went over to his house, he's like, my own, I got this new system. My homies are developing, and it's like kind of like this, but like even better. I don't even know how. It oh, I doubt it's better. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. He's probably playing Dreamcast right now. Yeah. Yeah, like laughing at us, <laughs> cackling. <laughs> uh, you know, but Fest was like uh, the, one of the DJs who founded Backburner, yep. and uh, Backburner really started in a like a, a friendship atmosphere mm-hmm. and a lot of freestyling and a lot of sitting in Kilgore's floor playing Fester's dreams, casting dreams. Yeah. Hey, how did you first meet Fester? And then Kills or whatever. How did that work for you, Jesse? Who me? Yeah, I don't even know that story. Like we all hung out, but they approached I- me at a at a at a Halifax rap show. I genuinely. Am a Halifax rap legend. <laughs> yeah, like you <laughs> and, actually are. In yeah, the no joke. in around 2000, but I was like a legendary fan, and they saw me at all the True. Buck 65 and Sebi Tones shows, and the DJ Move show, and the Goods show. And you the were Martinez you were show. busting a DJ Move on the dance floor every show. <laughs> Apparently, uh, my partner just ran into Pip Skid, legendary rapper from Brandon, Manitoba, who nice. lived in Halifax for a while, yeah. and without knowing that my partner knew me, Shad mentioned my name, uh, and Pip Skid apparently. I'm going to blow his spot. He was like, that guy used to get right up in my face while I was rapping and rap all the words louder than I was. And not just the punches either, not just the cool lines, the whole song. <laughs> didn't like, didn't like that. You were legendarily known for that, but then I think it backfired one time when Soul came to town and he handed you the mic and you're like, "I'm not that big of a fan of your stuff. You're cool, but." And he no, thought, it was my first time hearing Bottles of Humans, and like everybody in the in the Kyber Club was rapping along to yeah, Bottle of Humans. That's the one time, and the he passes one it. Time you get the mic. <laughs> that, um, I thought it was just because you didn't like him or something. But no, I no. was I was really I was really into it. But he's just I a lot of words album. and they didn't rhyme. Yeah, so, like it's not like it even set me up. Like a Sage right. Francis line, if, I, if yeah. Sage Francis is with him, if he says the first half of his line, even if I've never heard the song, I'm gonna know what the second line is because the whole thing rhymes. Okay. P.S. I love soul. You're cool. So you were set up for kind of set up for disaster on that. Yeah. Mike Mike swap there. Yeah, that's because he knew me online, and that's not a good look. That's not a good place to know me from. He knew me from the Anacom message board. So, but how did he know that you were the one that did that at the show? I think I think I think six two. Somebody speaking out of school. Somebody told him. Yeah, you might have been already like rapping other dudes' lines too, though. Well, one time he was like, "Oh, this cat knows what's up." Oh, that's Jesse. Forget this album that we just put out. One time, Buck (laughs) sixty five forgot his own lyrics on stage at a show I wasn't at, and my friends told me later he looked mournfully into the spotlight and said, "Is Jesse here?" (laughs) Jesse would know the lyrics. Let me just skip the song. But you weren't there to save him. No, but I was probably rapping his song alone hey, at home. Speaking about putting the mics out there, like as people do, but the hardcore scene in London, Ontario, was all about that. You know, like every hardcore scene. But I just wanted to say, I give a shout out to Bry and like all. Like I used to go see Brian's Bry show when he was um, in Shoulder, the hardcore band in London, Ontario, and I was a big fan. I thought he was amazing then, and then he went on to do even cooler things. Like the green screening in yeah, exactly. this episode. Yeah, yeah, but no, seriously, word up, Ry. A nice surprise to see you. All right, so if you want to see the green screening, you can go on the, the C4U YouTube if you're listening right now, and this will be on the archives if you want to check it out later. Are you doing good at Contra now, Thesis? No. 
Are you doing good at Konami now that you use the Konami code? Now that we I didn't use remembered it. it, I didn't use it. I don't have time for that. Kind wow, of stuff. that's impressive. I wouldn't I'm just. I doubt I'd play that game with. That's it. called. The you Konami know what that code. is? It's called toxic masculinity. Just use the code. <laughs> just use the code. <laughs> Nobody's get your gonna, ego, get your ego in check. And nobody's going to judge code. you for it. I do judge you for getting shot in the face by that turret. Okay, so um, should we get into another song? Yeah, do you here? want me to play one? Oh, don't do it. Uh, <laughs> um, I hope you play the song better than you play that round of Contra. Mm. My God, I'm not even going to try it. That game's hard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that um, game is hard. Uh, yeah, I might do another one that like is never going to come out. Slash might come out in a little while. Well, that's perfect for this live to air. It's yeah, rare, the rarer, the better. Yeah, since since Funk and Daddy isn't here, we'll just like do some different stuff. So this is like this is one that uh, started a while ago. Um, Sappy Fest that we played together with Bluebird. What year was that again? Uh, I don't know. A while ago, 2010 or 11, and uh, I had already met Chad Van Gale, but we were playing with him. That was pretty interesting. That was fun. And we were, he was playing this beat thing. We was playing a beat set, and we were rapping over it and stuff, and it was really fun. Is that what you're going to kick now? Yeah, I'm going to just play the recording of me and you hanging out in Sackville, New Brunswick, <laughs> uh, in Bluebird's van. So if you just give me a minute to explain it, Jesse. Come on. Um, yeah, no. Uh, so anyway, so, yeah, we talked about some stuff, me and Chad, and we kept in touch, and we played some shows and did different things, and he sent me some stuff, some sounds and some noises, and then I kind of flipped them and – flipped them and dipped them and now I'm rapping over them so uh yeah so this is one thing I kind of like he I made with him he sent me sounds and stuff so with Chad Van Galen yeah who's famous by the way what uh famous. what's the name of this song uh this song's called Radiation that's the title of it right now so it's kind of a working title I guess or something like that but I don't know who knows maybe uh maybe a label I know might put it out or something I don't know. Yeah, we're talking about it. I got like three more songs Joey or four more like, songs no, don't to like finish not a fan. with him. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll give it a shot. All right. Here's a rare. Uh, well, we'll just call this a. Th- uh, this is a thesis song thesis with Chad Van Galen, I guess, Chad or something Gillen, like that. Yeah. But I'm sure, um, you know, Funkin likes the song. Just right? get the SoCan credits right. That's all. Get yeah. Chad paid. Word, word, word. Yeah, from all my plays, right? This is our history with radiation. I've been around this world a lot and I find the place amazing. But there's super stupid obvious things to me. Some things are real wrong and just don't make sense to me. This is Sahib, be the one you can call me. A fool in this world surpassed by bigger fool's folly. I am surprised when past the size, sting my eyes. Surprised when wax break caps on new cans I cry on. I was surprised in Manitoba by the hunger of mosquitoes. Surprised they spray the streets and smell I die on. And no one thinking could they even get worse. Surprised the planet rock still rolling through the universe. I hold my breath for where we're headed. Now I've got the light head. We're rolling up the windows in Winnipeg. All of your sunshine on my mind. Energy rays on my mind. My, 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 my microwaves on my, my mind. The, the, the time keeps ticking, 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 ticking. All of your sunshine on my mind. Energy rays on my, my mind. My, my, my microwaves on my, my mind. The, the, the time keeps ticking, 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 ticking. This is history with radiation and it's done under the sun. Told to me, you and we think it's true. Theoretically, the color green means new. Philosophy tells you, supposedly for sure, who knew? Putting ideas in the world that starts with one experience and then relates to another thing. And then we think it's true. Green means go. I thought I'd let you know. I wrote all these ideas back then using a green pen. Moving on, not about stationary. Some children are minors without a canary. I'm a maze of skater kids nowadays flipping tricks real big with super ill skill. When I was a kid, what we did for big thrills was ride our skateboards down big hills. I age in comparison, no hesitation. This is our history with radiation. All the young sunshine on my mind. Energy rays on my mind, my mind, my mind, my microwaves on my mind, my mind. The, the, the time keeps ticking, 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 ticking. All of your sunshine on my mind. Energy rays on my mind, my mind, my mind, my microwaves on my mind, my mind. The, the, the time keeps ticking, 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 ticking. This is history with radiation and it's done under the sun. Told to me, you and we think it's true. All right, thanks. Yo, I like that better than the recording that's never coming out. Yeah. I really thanks. liked your live energy on it. Thank you. I was impressed that Jesse was able to do the uh, I vocal. Send, I might have sent him like a scratch playing. version. Yeah. 
whilst not stopping playing video games. Yeah, well, that, yeah. You know what? That's some good multitasking. Yeah, he is good at multitasking. Yeah, thank you. I can't do one thing. (laughs) That's what I can't (laughs) do. But he can do two at once or three. Two or three. Yeah, um, I might have made like an early scratch vocal version. Did I send that to you? Yeah, you did. And that, like, but I like the energy you had now more than the recording. Cool. Yeah, that was probably just in my bedroom doing nothing. Not with a green screen and all these cool people hanging out around me. Oh, you don't green screen in your bedroom? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> All right. Anymore. Well, thanks. Thanks for checking it out. Bootleg it. Download it. Press it on vinyl yourself. Mail it to me. Call me a fool. Make your millions. Well, people can find it on the C4U archives and uh, potentially bootleg it from there. So Nice. Get your so can right. Chad Van Galen, get money. Yeah. So you just open yourself up to a world of bootlegging. It's actually going to probably come out on the uh, unofficial C4U bootleg series. No, just kidding. That doesn't exist. Mm. It'd be weird if it did. Now I'm suspicious. <laughs> uh, okay, so Lizard Grove. Yeah, yeah. H- how was your drive from Colorado, and where in Colorado were you coming from? Oh, it was long. I'm uh, from this town. It's called Loveland, Colorado. It's like 50 miles north of Denver. Okay. And so I left Tuesday morning at like 5 in the morning, and then I drove... 16 solid hours to Michigan and slept overnight and then drove the rest of the way from Michigan to London at uh, Thesis's house yesterday and now we're here. Well, the fir- you drove 16 hours. That's impressive. Yeah, I, I didn't think that out real well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a theme. It's, uh, it's a nice area to drive around in Colorado, but I don't know once you get past a certain area, maybe it gets a lot not as nice. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm just guessing. Um, yeah, I drove through... All of Nebraska and then all of Iowa, and neither of those states are uh, pretty flat, great. pretty yeah, boring. Yeah, pretty flat, a lot of corn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were supposed to get corn footage for our video <laughs> uh, project. Yeah, then I realized I was driving and shouldn't do both those things at <laughs> once. <laughs> it was a good idea, though. <laughs> we do have a dope video project that's going on on our uh, social media. We're going to post the first installment of it uh, this afternoon before the show. Uh, Leslie Marshall at, at Maven is uh, compiling our our video lives into spooky for the sh- for this tour, right? Yeah, just to like um, I don't know, dangle something shiny in front of the cats' faces and see if they uh, paw paw their wallets. So, uh, so you made it in from Colorado, and now you're going to be touring in Canada. Yeah, yeah. More driving. <laughs> way more driving, yeah. I got to say, for someone who, like, drove all the way, you were very um, friendly, and <laughs> she steps out the car and's like, hey, what's up? And, like, immediately we're just, like, hanging out and kicking it and stuff. So that was cool. Like, Yeah, I yeah, did pass soldier. out real early last night, though. Yeah, that's good. Though. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you drive long distances often? <laughs> no, not really, no. <laughs> that's awesome. I just started driving a year ago, actually. Um, Congratulations. And uh, Yeah, so I'm, longer drives are... like I've, I kind of tried to hold off for a long time, but now because of certain needs and stuff, I have to drive. Me, uh, I, I made him do it. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's like just some stuff. Well, well, now you can help yeah. driving on the tour. Well, yeah, which we got to figure out because yeah, we yeah. got like two cars, you know, pumping dinosaur juice right. everywhere. And... Um, you that know. actually makes the song a lot more poignant. <laughs> yeah, you know? exactly. Like I don't really love it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna so hold up a giant sign that says "We killed extra dinosaurs twice as to be here." We resurrected dinosaur <laughs> ghosts. That's what it is, homie. Um, I like that a lot. But oh. yeah, so like, we're trying to figure that out. Somebody want to lend us a big van that we can all chill in? You guys can pile into the back of my car <laughs> with the <a> five foot <laughs> red vinyl. <laughs> it's good. It's more likely yeah, you guys could pile into ours, but yeah, we'll figure it out. Ain't yeah, nobody it. piling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about this. Sorry about this talk. We, we should discuss this off air. Outside baseball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I just wanted to yeah, I want to get a bit more of a background info about Lizard Grove because Mm -hmm. you made the trip all the way up here. Is this your first time touring in Canada? It is, yeah, yeah. It's uh, my first time out of the U.S. First time out of the U.S.? Yep, yep. Well, uh, welcome to Canada. Thank you much. She made all the music that I'm rapping on, by the way. She's blowing up. I'm I'm not just hanging out here. Like, her, she's going to get places. Like, she's going to leave this crap behind real soon <laughs> and do something for somebody good who's younger and prettier 
So, um, yeah, so if you, I don't know, probably a lot of listeners around here know the least about your music. So I don't know if you could share a little bit about how you got into producing or something like that, unless you think that's too corny. Oh, yeah, no, I can do that. Um, I started with, um, I was really into EDM when I was in high school, and so I was like, really, really wanted to make stuff, so I was like chopping out individual drum sounds from EDM songs and rearranging them in like Windows Movie Maker. (laughs) (laughs) And then eventually I realized that didn't work and got like some bootleg copy of Fruity Loops that I was using for a while, and... But yeah, that's a lot of my stuff is really influenced by electronic kind of stuff. Like I try not to make hip hop beats anyway that are just like a break and a piano loop on top of each other for three and a half minutes. Like my other albums. Like when Eminem started producing for himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so as if he's not taking hits hard enough these days. <laughs> he better not be listening. If he is, he's suck. gonna be so mad. I'll kick his butt. We're gonna be Fun next on the. We're gonna be next on the list. First, Kill. Machine Gun Kelly got to take care of that guy after the failed attempt <laughs> to come back. Uh, so a lot of people use Fruity Loops. I always remember being blown away when I learned that Eloquent, the producer from Guelph, who's a big producer here, uses uh, was strictly using Fruity Loops for a lot of his uh, material. Ninth Wonder, uh, Joe Run Bombay. I don't know, think he is now, but he was doing a ton of work in Fruity Loops. Yeah, I use. Uh, I've moved on to Reason now. Um, I tried messing with Ableton for a little while, but that's too many buttons. <laughs> yeah, Ableton is a great program, but some people take to it really quickly, and then other people don't. Yeah, it's just a real steep learning curve on that one. But one thing that's interesting about Ableton is that DJ Jazzy Jeff, who you would not think would be, you know, super up on Ableton, is like an Ableton master mastermind wizard. Damn. Yeah. Promoting it to all the young artists, being like, if I had this when I was making beats, <laughs> mm-hmm. the world would be a different place. Yeah, the versatility of Ableton works. is nice. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, don't, I know no better, really, at this point. Like, I mean, I used to use some In earlier English stuff like switch. Acid and all this other stuff but i basically went to ableton when i really started focusing on my own beats and stuff and for a while acid was like the hip-hop program yeah for a long time everybody in rap used acid i I never used it but i remember mad adam and Mm no 23 and Mm -hmm. all the people from the that Mm -hmm. wave of i mean those guys definitely used acid (laughs) Uh, i think i was with noah 23 one time when he was using acid when livestock was using acid when all those, all those boys were using acid. Maybe, uh, maybe some of those people will come out tonight. Hopefully, that would be awesome. I would love to see them. I'm a big, big fan. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm For twenty fan. years. I've been a fan. Yeah, of Noah. yeah. So I have some other questions, but we could also just go to another song right now. If somebody has a song they want to throw out there. <laughs> yeah, we were. Uh, Lizard, oh, do you, do you do? have any other projects you want to mention? Um, not right now. No, I put out some solo stuff a few years ago, but uh, it's yeah. I've gotten a lot better in the last few years. Fair so enough. we'll just pretend that stuff didn't happen. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, so best of luck touring in Canada. It looks like you got yourself prepped for the drive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Canada's tough that way because all of our cities are so far apart compared to America, especially the West Coast of America is all jammed up in there with lots of people. Unlike the USA, we weren't planning indie tours when we like, founded Built the, the cities country, across yeah. there. <laughs> That's all they were thinking of. Uh, so does somebody want to go with a song or should I fire out another question? You want question? to go? We're going uh, to do Against Dreaming from the new album. Against Danger. Dreaming from the new Danger Grove album. The album is a debut duo album, uh, and it's called Want for Nothing on Coax Records. Pl- they're playing at the a and tonight with awards and myself, Sensi Boy. Word up. Me and Joe Tunes. Hit.
Everything is how it seems And it means what it is known to me Look, I don't speak about my dreams I am just where I'm supposed to be Where there's wanting, where there's longing There are ghosts and there is haunting There are notes left in the morning There is mourning what is gone When there's something that's important All the humors in your organs Leave you melancholy Stop it silly, really nothing's wrong I want and what I want to be is nothing. What I got is enough of me, and other than that, I couldn't imagine another thing. I call my apathy nothing. Nothing is what I want and what I want to be is nothing. What I got is enough of me, and other than that, I couldn't imagine another thing. I call my apathy nothing. Nothing is what I want and what I want to be is nothing. What I got is enough of me, and other than that, I couldn't imagine another thing. I call my apathy nothing. Nothing is what I want and what I want to be is nothing. What I got is enough of me, and other than that, I couldn't imagine another thing. I just want to see nothing, nothing is what I want, what I want to be, nothing, what I got is a double B, you know, that, oh, la da dee da 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 dee da 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 dee do, ba 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 ba, scooby doo, and the mystery gang too, I'm here with pieces of awards, good lord, there's a girl named the drive up for the tour, I'm not sore, but I will be soon for sure, Really, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing's wrong. Everything's fine. Nothing's broken. Nice. Danger Grove on CFRU 93.3 FM in Guelph. You can find this interview on the YouTube archives live. There is some green screen action incorporating some video games, some retro video games. And that's from the new Danger Grove album that is uh, going to be available tonight. They just picked up the vinyl before the just before the interview. So there's both vinyls, both records, awards, and Danger Grove. Both vinyls are going to be there tonight. And that's at the A-N-A-F. Noah just messaged me. said he's hoping to come out tonight. Oh, uh, no. What's up? Love so to see you, buddy. Hopefully uh, really he'll be – maybe he'll be doing your r- role. Maybe he'll be up front rapping uh, all the words but in the better, mic. But better. But much tighter. <laughs> Faster and better. Like he always did. Son of a gun. All right. So – uh, we still got a bit of time. Yo, can I just quickly shout out Megan Lands? If you're watching on YouTube, you're looking at her artwork right now. She did the beautiful animals and little spooky creatures. Megan Lands? Megan Lands. Uh, drawsmall.com, I think. Draw, drawsmall.com. The Danger Grove artwork looks awesome, as does the awards artwork. Well, it's not as good, though. We should open this up and show off our red vinyls. What a euphemism. What vinyls? The color is the Danger Grove. <laughs> uh, it looks like it's just standard black vinyl, um, but actually, this is a very expensive color called Darkness. Yeah. It's weird. Like it won't really show up on the screen, but you can't look at it. It hurts. Actually, it hurts a lot. What I'm doing right now. It'd be wild if one of the records was green, because then it could be green screened in. Oh, Apparently, yeah. your hair, Jesse, is uh, getting a nice little green screen effect. That actually happens in real life. That's not the green screen. That's uh, that's actually if you're in person, it does the same thing. It just changes. It just changes color and stuff. Yeah, you get to that age. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to ask Thesis about uh, your one of your pastimes that I find amusing that I know because I follow you on social media. Uh, I know that you're into surfing in Ontario. Oh yeah, yes, yes. 
yeah. Oh, sorry. She's speaking the microphone. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. What's up okay. with your surfing in Ontario? I have. I actually have a. Uh, I I uh, make a reference about it in one of my songs. What? Uh, that's like what? we surf the Great Lakes. It's Ontario, oh, man. Please, send, <laughs> I need that. I need that song because I'm. We're trying to make a little thing. Matt um, a- Matt Adam uh, cracked up when he heard that line. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. What did you say? Wait, did you say it originally as like a joke? Uh, like- I think I said it honestly subconsciously as a reference to knowing about you surfing. You're the only person oh, that I know yeah. that surfs in yeah. Ontario. Well, I have one other friend that's into surfing here. That's amazing. Yeah. But that's awesome. uh, right. but I think of you as the of the preeminent Ontario surfer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Ontario. Yeah. Surf legend. Surf legend. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, I surf with a bunch of my friends in the in the lakes. Um, I was surfing, and I mean, I'd lived in Nova Scotia and had friends who surfed there, and I didn't do it. And I mean, also, I was living off of rice and like a graffiti flop house for you know, so I was, surfing was unobtainable at that point. at that juncture. Yeah, and then was on the road a lot, but then and I was in California quite a bit too, and I had friends there that surfed, and then I ended up going to Costa Rica with a with a friend who was doing some teaching stuff there and then it ended up being this like I surfed a lot I got lots of crazy stuff happened there I got sick and all sorts of stuff but I was just surfing there and would um, you call it a surfing odyssey uh, it was definitely an odd thing I did see uh, <laughs> because I saw some like crazy animals in the water and it scared me and I saw a fin like my first couple times I sucked I was actually really sick um, I I'd caught dengue fever and from a mosquito ouch and so I was like hallucinating and all this stuff we were there for quite a while and then uh you know towards the end of it like i was still in pain for months after and uh this is a side story what, but, they, um, yeah, what else did they call that fever uh broken bone fever disease or something yeah, like that yeah it's a broken, badass, man. yeah Ooh. like i literally felt like i was having dreams that my bones were being twisted backwards and Aye. i was feeling bad because like we went there and you know we rented a house from this we rented a, a space from this surfer guy and we went there and it was like just it was just being like it was like what I imagine like colonization looked like. It was fucked. Uh, sorry, I almost yeah. But it was like it looked really. It was really bad. Sorry, I almost cursed there. But it's just like we gave this swearing warning. Yeah, I mean like, and I think it's okay for Could me be to be worse. upset about this because it felt really weird. And I was like, wow, we're contributing to this system here where people are like burning down all these trees and you know to make place for tourists and all this you know it's just bizarre and you saw firsthand all the nightmares that you read about it was horrible and i was like wow and now we're kind of stuck here i don't even want to be a part of it anyways it was but then i got sick and i was like oh like i was having all these dreams about all this then you didn't even have the energy to worry about all that stuff anymore yeah all i was doing was trying to make it out alive which i didn't know at the time i was going to you know, could have could have died, but there was this doctor that I befriended there before, who was there with his family, and they were having a baby there, and he was like, ah, oh, like when I came out the doctor's place, he was like, oh, what's wrong with you? You oh, and I was like, stay away, I've I've got strep throat, I think, and then later on he came back and he was like, no, no, you have like, something much yeah, worse, you have something much worse. <laughs> but he's like, I haven't been able to make it over the next the last couple of days, and like, if you're alive now, you're probably okay, and I was like half out of it, and like him telling, me, and I'd I'd been having like two or three days of like. Just hallucinations and being sick all over the place. And at this time, you didn't know you were going to emerge as an Ontario surf legend. Yes. Anyways, like he back was going to, to emerge. Back, yeah, I was going the to emergency the emergency room. room exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, anyways, yeah. So I came back from there, and then I, you know, was on a trip to California and started surfing there again, like for the first times, really, but with my friends. And then, um, uh, yeah. And then when I came back to Canada, my brother had actually started surfing the lakes. This is around like 2006. And um, he was going to a university in London, the university in London, and they had, like, managed to get, like, piles of money from the from the school to buy a whole bunch of surfboards. So they had, like, just tons of surfboards. They had, like, a surfing club or something? Yeah, yeah. They were like, let's get money and start a surfing club. So they just started this surfing club. Cool and club. So, yeah, we had lots of surfboards to choose from. So I started doing that and then was just traveling a lot. And, you know, I didn't have a car at the time either, so I didn't really have access. So I'd have to go with other people or what, whatever. But um, in the last while, I've been in full control of it. And that's probably like my friend Noel comes and takes pictures of us. And um, some of those I've seen. Yeah. So now it's like, you know, Noel likes coming. He's a good dude. So, Noel. you know, my homie Noel. Um, he's a great artist too. And so he, he comes, he's a photographer and a painter. 
Um, and so he comes lots to, they're out there right now, actually. He's out there right now. Um, Lake Huron is going off in a major way, and I was kind of upset that I'm not there. Uh, King Carden area is going to be blasting right now. Sorry, King Carden, great beach town. Yeah, it's awesome. And right now it's going off. And uh, I wish I was well, there. Well, you're surfing the airwaves. Yeah, I'm surfing the internet uh, with my voice and mind. Surfing. And we're surfing the airwaves. So that was going to be my next question. Well, a couple questions about the surfing. Not to get too sidetracked here, but what's your favorite lake to surf? What's your favorite great lake to surf? Well, because I'm in... Uh, oh, yeah, that song. Do you want to do that? Okay. Oh, sorry. All right. Um, well, yeah, um... My fa- Okay, because I'm in London, Ontario. I'm in a really good spot because uh, from lots of different wind directions, I my favorite spot is definitely Lake uh, Lake Huron is my favorite, but Lake Erie is amazing. So I can surf between the two of them. There's like it seems like there's waves often, quite often. Like you know, I'm I'm a busy person, so it's like oh man, there's waves today. Oh, I guess I sh- I gotta go. You know, like it seems like it's more often than. People more yeah. often than people would guess. Way more often, and it and it all depends. I mean, I think that the problem is, is like, so my my dad grew up. He actually surfed in Australia when I was like a baby, and um, so looking at the lakes, we I grew up on Lake Huron, being around there with him, and he was like, oh, you know, when is that? You can't surf those waves, James. He's from Scotland. He's like, they're not big enough. There's no face, you know. And I was like, I bet you you can, but he'd always say no. And then later on, I was like, you can totally surf it. So it's like if you ride like longboard or if you're just um, – it's just about like what wind direction you're in at the – prop, you know, in in the geography and stuff like that. So if you know what's up, you can find good surf. And is there is it easier now with the modern technology of tracking weather and stuff to know when's going to be good for surfing? To be honest, I don't know how anybody did it before. <laughs> like besides just being like – I mean before that there was uh, like a – like a radio line you could turn on and it would tell you what direction. That's what we used to do even before the internet. In Ontario. They yeah. just died all the time, yeah. I assume. <laughs> no, uh, that was for sailors mainly, though, and, and people shipping stuff across the Great Lakes. They would whatnot. tell you where the waves were going to be They'd be really like, wind, no, they, what they would say is wind direction, uh, this, this buoy is saying the waves are this and the wind is this, and then that buoy is saying the wind is this. And that. So that's uh, that's been going on for a while. That's on, I like, the see. old school radio. So that was what my dad used to use. And then, um, but actually there used to be in Port Colburn, there's even like record of like an old surf club that was around in the sixties. So I don't know if they were using And this was an actual surfing, not wind surfing. No, actual like actual surfing, like, surfing. Yeah. 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 Big boards. Um, you know, no, no wind. Cause uh, everybody no, knows uh, about wind surfing around here, but yeah, not, no kites or not that like many that. people know that, uh, that there's actual just regular. Yeah. Surfing legit surf, on. legit surf. And, um, it's fun and it's cool. It's hard to do. It's dangerous. Don't do it. <laughs> um, seriously, be careful if you're going to do it. Cause you gotta, you gotta know what's up. Like you just want to keep it all for yourself. Yeah, I kind of do actually. It's kind of crazy. There's been an influx of people lately, but <laughs> really? it's, it's cool. getting more popular. It's cool. Yeah. And no, I'm not oh, trying yes. to say I'm like the illest surfer cause a lot of my friends are better than me, but I, I can handle my own. No and, uh, um, no one you're not friends with is better than you. That's maybe true. Let me think about that for a minute. But, um, yeah, but there's lots of like, I mean, and being new at it is great. That's cool. Just just know what's up. Because there's know? still probably all the dangers of undertow and all that kind of stuff whenever you got big waves. I've had people nearly die. I've heard plenty of stories. I've had people be like, yo, yesterday I got pulled out way over at this other spot and I thought I was a goner. I've had like, cra- we've, we've had like locals call helicopters because so-and-so is like way over in the middle of nowhere trying to like climb up a cliff because they got stuck you know like bizarre stuff happens you know stop snitching it's more (laughs) it's more uh dangerous than people would think yeah you got to be real careful i mean you know if you know what's up it's pretty safe but you just i mean everybody assumes surfing in places like australia is dangerous the sharks and stuff Mm -hmm. they might eat sharks aren't real though by the way they don't exist (laughs) The Great Lakes sharks, though, are nasty. Yeah, I've been bitten up a few times. I've been sliced up. Nibbled? Yeah, the worst is like zebra mussels and stuff. Ah, yeah, they could get on your surfboard or on your... No, they get... When you're trying to climb out, like there's this one break where like generally I'm jumping off a pier into heavy waves oh, that they are like... Cut like someone you. who's just and they, as good as you? And they... Sorry, Jesse, what are you interrupting with me again? Like, all the time? I, all I hear is the constant, like, <laughs> in the background. I don't know if you're saying something awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. You said you jump off a pier, and I said someone who's just as a, good as a you? A pier. A friend or a peer. 
Yeah, yeah good you. one. Good one. Good. <laughs> it would appear that I didn't understand that joke. I'm here all night, so folks. advanced. Um, Sorry. Yeah. No, you're 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 That's the best. Right. You're the best right. rapper ever. All but right. um, yeah. So yeah, lake surfing's fun. We surf the Great Lakes. It's Ontario, man. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to ask the surfing question. I know Grandmaster Mario has a video game question. He just wants to ask about some of your favorite video games or video game hi career highlights. But we're going to get to that question after the next song. Sure. Okay. What do we, we want to do? Do we want to do that? My phone in? Okay, as long as you can tell me when my cues are, because I don't know. We're going to try something that we've never practiced ever before. You know, we did it live in Toronto. Yeah, Perf but that's not per practice. I was just trying to say. I was just trying to, yeah, this is perfect for something perfect that's recorded for forever and is going to be on the internet until is it, is it the internet blows up. Yeah, it should be playing. So this is a song. So this is a collaboration. Beat by MBs. We should tell the story about this whole song after. Actually, it's interesting. Let's turn this up. Please now be forewarned that the storm has a path and intention. Please will you be forward that the band has a path. This please now. Please now. What's up with all the trouble you man stars? Put up in my bump up in my dance cards full. <laughs> the best is crystal clear. Oh, that's what happens. Okay, I should just freestyle. It's been a little while, but I hope I don't go to the Isle of Prince Edward when it's chilly and cold. That's right. People say I'm just silly and old, like a million fold. Many, many times over, like a me foy. That's right, it's me, boy. <laughs> I'm from Nova Scotia, but don't surf. But I used to collect Smurfs. They were little. They lived in mushrooms. They were like three apples tall. I would drink a Snapple, y'all. That will fall under one of the worst lines I ever kicked in my life. Ayo, hey, three sister he, will you do me the honor of being my wife? Please now be forewarned that the storm has a path and intention. Please will you be forewarned <laughs> that this heart fell? Please now. Please now. You freestyle. You're good. You're better than me. Jesse D, I would join a call for you. Grab a hold the tail of any hail bomb unstoppable. Fill the craft with helium and hope that that's unpoppable. Loved one, strong along the clothes horse, top of gold. Around here, I'm a bit of an individual. Living with individual from a visual sigil. Like the bat signal, sky blown, blasted out in clouds. Temporary, mysterious, and oh so proud. Come see, come saw, I'm saying it so, so loud. Shouts of Troy for putting down an L. Dot town boy. But every MC has to prove the stuff is not just stuffing, cause you won't get away with the fancy way you're saying nothing. nothing. Word to my cousin Buzz and B for keeping me in edible medicals. Let the words flow free. Unfortunately, we may see how they fuck it up when it's sold and distributed legally. Oh, Around now. here, Old South, OPS, HW, North and Imaginary Friends. Around here, when the biggity backburners around the mic and it was to speak, will occur. Around here. Now. Now, 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 so this is a beat that MB's made. He's great. He lives out in Halifax and he's like a cheesecake. Real pretty, real good looking. He's got a son. And when people try to test me, I say I'm not the one. It's got to be done so it gets done. It's real good. What's that song, Dr. Feelgood? And there was also an actor whose last name was Gilgood. See me in the hundred acre wood, I'm Winnie the Pooh I'm not as skinny as you, but that doesn't make one of us better or worse I can't curse, I'm a veteran and not in the war sense But I am playing the ANAF And uh, hey, I guess that that's pretty cool for vets to have Some place to go when they're not treating pets at the animal hospital This is a he, why don't you do something cool, yo Yeah, well first of all, the sample came from Nile he said he played the guitar on it, but he had styles. Sometimes he would sample and not tell me, and it ended up as on a sample from Embassy. And I was like, hee hee, ta ha, he pulled one over on me, and I can see. I'm the T, the S, the H, the I, the B, the M, yeah, you can't necessarily see us tonight if you're not in Guelph. So for your own little bit of health, you should come out. I'm straight with the dumb doubt that you won't show up after we come yeah. so fresh and weak. Oh, you yeah, got okay. a phone call. Okay, the mayor of Ottawa, you're All on right, CFRU. Hey, thank you, yo. You there? Oh, yeah, I'm here. Ooh. Okay, what's up? Why are you calling us in the studio? I 
did not know I was calling the studio, but I'm really excited about it now. Mm. Okay, you want to kick a freestyle? No. Okay. Cool, I'll talk to you after. That's the mayor of Ottawa, everybody. You voted. Yeah. All right, we're back here in C for you, ninety three point three FM in Guelph. That's exactly how the song goes on the record. I can't. Yeah, we, nailed we just. It. Yeah, that was perfect. That song was great. That was one of the, my favorite songs so far today. Shoot, dang! It's on the album uh, "Rap Dad, Real Be- Dad" by Library Steps, which is me and Ann B's. But I jacked a thesis to heap chorus on it because of loved ones. The sample from loved ones. And let's be real, that's a famous Canadian sample. That's Galt McDermott. Take me to jail. I don't care. We sampled a, a cover of a cover of the Hair soundtrack. Everybody does it. Yeah. So m- an earlier album of mine called Loved Ones, which Jesse was originally on the original cut, but it ended up getting all weird, uh, getting shortened down a lot. But uh, yeah, so that sample was used on Loved Ones, and then the, these, these guys flipped it. And I was like, I remember you sent it to me, and he didn't catch it at first. Yeah. I was like, yo, that's from the Loved Ones song. And then so he turned the chorus into the thing and then was like, you want to rap on it? Actually, do you want to do the album cover tomorrow for me? Uh, Jesse, yeah, you still got to do that 7-inch cover. Can you do that while we're on driving? Yeah, exactly. I'll do, do it right now while driving? I'm on the air playing the video game. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, Jesse... Jesse stressed me with last minute wants and needs, and I always do the thesis hebs and get them to him. Um, yeah, <laughs> we're, Yo, we're to try I want to shout. Stuff. I want to shout um, out uh, Lizard for doing really good at uh, at Gauntlet. We found we found our groove on this one. I changed it to easy mode. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Your danger groove. That's when you lost. Yeah. Did you like the, speaking of Galt McDermott, did you like the Oh No record that sampled all Galt McDermott songs? I don't songs? think I heard it, but I bet it would. I mean, here's the thing about sampling Galt McDermott, and I'm just going to put myself right in the paddy wagon for this one. He <laughs> made rap beats. Galt McDermott records, except for like the, you know, terrible sex songs from the Hair soundtrack, are rap beats. So yeah, uh, you know, easy to be heard. Every version of it makes a dope rap. And every version of Where Do I Go? Uh, Follow the Children. Yeah, that's always Run DMC down with the king. But there's no point in sampling Galt McTermott uh, unless you're going to also get your homeboy Joshua Kloffenpop to play uh, upright bass on it, which I did. And that's what well, I just thought it was cool that Ono did it because he's an American artist. It's Ono is uh, Mad Lib's younger brother. Yeah, yeah. And I thought that that was surprising. I just was surprised that it. I agree. Oh, heads that no de- Galt. Depen- heads depen- no Galt McDermott. Like they're they're yeah. all. You you see a copy of the <laughs> Hair soundtrack, you buy that. You don't even stop to see how much it is. I remember Peter Bradley was our former. Uh, uh, station manager slash uh, music coordinator was really excited for that record. Yeah. Um, anyways, Grandmaster Mario, hence his name, has some video game related questions. Yeah, make them specific. <laughs> Take um, it away, Grandmaster. What's your favorite video games? Don't like them. I like sports. <laughs> yeah. oh. I like field ball. I like track jump and fight. Grandmaster Mario actually likes That's track. Favorite sports, or is that just like <laughs> track check, what? Check. Track jump. Track ball. Track ball. Yeah, I like trackball. Actually, I edit my cool edit profile to the trackball. I'm sorry. I thought do you do player. speed runs or competitive games? No, I don't use any drugs of any kind. <laughs> so I, th- I think that's a no for the speed runs. No, what I about mean, like, competitive? I, I mean, I'm always competitive when I'm playing Dr. Mario. But oh, yo, yo, young oh. K, the yeah. mayor of Ottawa, who called in a second ago, <laughs> destroys me at Dr. Mario. I'm very good at Dr. Mario. Yeah. And I can't even, like, they just dump garbage on me. And then I can't pay attention to the game because I'm covered in fish heads and like life is hard. That's why they moved out. But you do have a Twitch account, so. I know, but I haven't thought of what cool to do with it yet. Every so often, I'll, I like I play Monster Hunter with my sister and I'll throw that up there off the PS4. I'll, uh, I was trying to Monster. play Vagante on it, but nobody cared. Nobody likes Vagante, which is like an ill roguelike dungeon crawler. So I guess you got to pick games that people are into yeah. to, also, get, to get any kind of buzz. Yeah. On the Twitch. Yeah, that's I true. have no buzz on the Twitch. Let's be real. I got lots of buzz but you Twitch when you're buzzing. That remains to be seen. Come to the show tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. You want, I got a video awesome. game related story for you. All right. No, there's no time. I'm free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too awesome. late. What um, I, I, what's that? Go ahead. Did Grandmaster? You? Grandmaster. Boston, what about that song? What song? About uh, the thing. Uh, let's let him tell his video game story. And Wait, then... Are you talking about 
word burglar, narc high score. That's a good friend of ours, but we never got the narc high score. What? Nah, man. What are you talking about? Uh. Don't worry about it right now. I guess. Okay, we're not going to worry about it right now. I think maybe, was it something about your mental health awareness stuff? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, I you can say that right. after the next uh, uh, video game story. Okay, so I'm going to jump in here. Yeah, I okay, big deal. I saw, you know, Wizard, the movie, and I thought, wow, I'm just like that guy. <laughs> the guy with the power glove who's amazing, who has every single game. So rad! No. Yeah, um, no, but I... Uh, I, my brother got Mario 3 for his birthday. I thought I was amazing at it. Um, and I turned out to not be amazing at it because I went to that. They had a thing like the Wizard movie and um, at Canada's Wonderland. And you went there and played the game. And I went into like the championship or whatever. And I tried to play like a million times and never scored. But I got a whole bunch of buttons that said like, Never Nintendo scored. Challenge. Yeah, sucked. Sucked at Nintendo Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um yeah, so I did that at Canada's one of them. It was pretty awesome, but it was basically just like a like an advertisement for all the new games, which to me is just like cool. It's just like I'm an addict for this stuff. I need more. So for me it was heaven, but my parents are like they're going like it's just another way to sell more games to you, James. <laughs> it's crap. It's plastic with a jumping game inside. It's <laughs> crap. You, you sit there all summer long and play the game. You know, so that's, yeah. Was the wizard uh, made to promote the Power Glove or to promote Mario 3 Mario or 3 all together? Kind of all of it, yeah. Because, well, yeah, because the kid playing Rad Racer, like, he was showing Rad off Rad playing... Racer playing the power glove in a way that that that's not even how it works like, no it's not fun to use the no but power I, glove I got a power a glove car. that like I begged for a power glove I got two and I just wear them if I want to like cook a turkey Damn. like for my oven mitts <laughs> you need some arm protection from yep. splashing hot oil <laughs> here's a secret here's a secret fact not everybody knows about yeah. the power glove yeah. is that in the 80s it had it was the most advanced VR glove because it had mylar contacts and it was pressure sensitive and it wasn't just like binary the, yeah. on off so the bendy people, parts so, so it was it was uh incorporating mpc 1000 technology exactly and it was M it was it was a way everybody made beats on them and that's actually how hip-hop began it was power glove i got a story about that but i'm not getting into it. it's too personal involving bluebird and nintendo's in a boat apparently um, uh, i heard from an underground american rapper that that used to be a big thing to show up at rap battles with a power glove Really? It was like a thing. This was a while ago now, but... <sighs> what was that one guy, Phoenix Orion? Uh, I saw him play in L.A. when I was like there, staying with like those cats, Two Max and all those guys, and they... Two Max. Yeah. He's the, the tattoo homie. artist? Is he a tattoo artist? He's no. got tattoos. He's got tattoos. He's a rap artist. You know, oh, I'm thinking of somebody else, Isaiah Toothtaker. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That guy's... I that think, guy's doesn't he know Two Max or something? There's some overlap They there. all know each They've other. They've met. They've met. They've shook. They've shook hands. They've shaken microphones at each other. Uh, I don't even know what that means. But, uh, yeah, so I was there. And, yeah, Phoenix and Ryan had these kids on stage with them. I don't know what was going on, but they were wearing power gloves. Like children? Yeah. They were, like, like maybe 12 or 13. It was Up a guy them? and a girl. And they were, like, rapping but holding power gloves. Well, it was really weird. He was like, this is my new ish. That makes sense. There's like uh, some kind of uh, occult thing about power gloves and underground rap Damn. in America. So it's, it's faded out. It's faded out. It's not as popular now. I have an idea what precipitated that. I think they were just in a lot of thrift stores for three dollars. Yeah, <laughs> people were like, "My hands are cold." Yo, I gotta have. I gotta have a look at the battle. Uh, I can't get a chain. I can't get cool glass. Yo. Yeah. People Fingers were gloves. always still trying to redeem the power glove because it was always so disappointing. The disappointment lasted for decades, and yeah. they're like, there's got to be a way to <laughs> redeem this amazing invention. Because yeah. it looked hot. <laughs> oh, no. It looked amazing. I would. I tried one on just the other day. I would kiss anything wearing a power glove. Dude. In the right circumstances. <laughs> All right, is there Battle Toads on there? That was my going to be my game request. I know yeah, I was smashing we're Battle Toads earlier. We got down you were the, playing Battle Toads? Yeah, we got down to the... Oh, um, you read my mind. No, so you you mentioned it being yeah. really hard, and I was like, no, "Oh yeah, that okay. spinning thing looks like the middle of a forty-five record." Yeah, this is hip hop. It's called rap music. Learn about it. Oh, I died. Okay, we're running out of time. Oh man, we got probably time for one more song. What do you want to do? Who should do a song? I have a I have a Nintendo uh, one bar of about Nintendo games that I do it. Put out. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, Jesse. Yeah, do it. 
I rebuilt my NES with a brand new 7-2 pin connect. Now my connect, my connect is the best. Battle toads all night long. Blaster master on and on. I beat the high score debonair going strong. I beat the Mario minute in half as long. That, that was real far. strong. Was that a freestyle? <laughs> Uh, might as well be. Oh. I think there's one part I forgot about Billy Bayou. I tried to get in all the hardest games. Yo, I did a whole song on the Bayou Billy beat with uh, JF2, uh, an Acadian rapper who lives in Ottawa. And actually, I, I, I expressed my disdain for Gamergate because I says, I'm Bayou Billy, I'll fight a gator. Bayou Billy, notoriously one of the hardest games ever. Yeah, it's, it's not fun either. It used I'll to be called Mad at, City. I'll beat you at Billy Bayou, take out your high scoring, nothing you can do. It's That's not, how you felt at the time. It's not a fun game, though. A hard game. And hard, not, not hard in a fun way, like bad. Battletoads. Battletoads yeah. hard in a fun way. Up to a point. Paper boy. Paper boy. Paper boy. Paper boy. Paper boy. Paper boy. <laughs> I'm all about that paper boy. Video game sound track samples. Love them. All right, so. The mayor of Ottawa is also really good at paper boy. Ooh. But I had a paper Hello. root, like we're a burglar. Yeah. You came by it naturally. Yeah. You practiced in real life. Uh, so we can sneak in one more song. Uh, I want to remind the listeners the show's happening tonight at the ANAF Danger Grove Awards, half of awards, anyways. And uh, Lizard Grove came up all the way from Colorado. Shout out, Colorado, and thank you for making the trip up here. I, I think Danger Crew should do it. Okay, which one should we do, Liz? Both the vinyls are going to be available at the show tonight. You can check out this on CFRU YouTube. Yeah, all right. Live, it'll be in the archives. Yeah, yeah. Thank you all for coming in and joining us uh, live on the air to surf the airwaves. Yeah. I know you'd like to be surfing the Great Lakes. Yeah. But hey, thank you so much, Senti. This is awesome. Uh, this is great. Grandmaster, what's Cut up? Faster. I think you had another question still, but and also Brian, thank I'll you tell guys. You later. And thanks. He'll, he can thanks ask you later. He'll ask you after to, the shout out to Cool Joe Tunes over there. Mean Mean Joe Tunes. He's a he's a he's a happy nice guy. <laughs> but he'll he'll break your fingers if you're a bad DJ. What? All right, what's the last song we're going to hear, Danger Grove? It's going to be Never Home. And on the album, it features uh, Tyra Holloway. But here, it's just going to feature us. Nice. All right, hit it. How do you go from I love you, I need you? That was too early. It's my first day. How do you go from I love you, I need you, to you're not my people, I don't want to see you, a shadow could squeeze through the eye of a needle, before I would see you, it's violent or evil, but where did my friends I would speak to, I'll sneak through, silence is not always peaceful, easy to see for, no grease for the squeaky wheel. We keep it real I sleep around and eat my meals alone Real alone No matter what I feel alone And fear unknown It's bad enough to lose But that is much as that As much as I can breathe And without seeming Combative and rude Yeah I know that isn't news But my attitude is new You will believe a man can move Stiff limbs Stiff upper lips Dipping up a bit Nasty fast Yeah it's such a mind stuff Not quite as much A gilded cage match promoter I'd rather throw a fight Than a punch On the same inside As I was And so's so and so That I didn't trust don't tell me I was right all along, all at once, all quiet on the front for months. I am disgusted as much as I am disgusted, so I am a shut and shut up. I do not go out to seek my pleasure, I do not belong. I do not go out to seek my pleasure, I do not belong wherever we've been seen together. I am never home. Where the heart is hard enough to know that no defended borders leave the car unguided on and off the bottom. Not enough. Not as good as neighbors come and jump all south. My head is other riders, light as deadly weapons. Truth is an art when you lose it, it loses it. Die with the breath of my next direction. It wasn't protected against infection. No place to rest when I'm best. I'm assessment. I'm forever a guest. I'm a ghost in your halls. I'm as close as a call on the phone that cut off. I'm no one at all. No little talks. No back talk. Just to say the whole plane is the same as the black box. Indestructible. Easily corrupted. The only magnet is it was in the one scratched off. Yeah. <laughs> Danger Grove. Live is on CFRU. Playing tonight at the ANAF. And there's a double vinyl release happening. 
two brand new vinyls that just got picked up today. Be the first to get them. And is there any online uh, stuff that you guys want to mention right before we cut out? Where can they get your vinyl? Where can they the Cokes Records uh, website has a pre-order for Canada. And Animal Street, www.animalstreet.com. Five W's. I wanted to ask more yeah. about Animal Street, but we're out of time now. But at the very okay. least, you can give a shout out. Animal Street Animal is Street. what the awards record's on. Yeah. And you can Me check, them out. You can check them out online. Yeah. Animal okay. Street Records. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Please come out tonight. We'll have fun. All right. Thanks for tuning in. And stay tuned to CFRU for some more great CFRU programming. And you can check this show out on the YouTube archives. Shout out to Bri for doing great green yep. screening. Yep. And uh, thanks for playing video games. I know Grandmaster Mario and myself were very into that theme. Cool. Thanks, yeah. guys. Thank you. It's silly. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to CFRU 93.3 FM.